Russell T. Hartman is the author of Coal Measures and Coal Mining in Iowa, an article discussing coal formation and methods of mining during the 1890s. Hartman wrote this article as a dissertation for his degree, a Master's of Science in Geology. He later received his degree from the University of Iowa in 1898. Hartman chose the perfect time to write about coal mining as it was a huge topic during the 1890s, especially in Iowa. Coal mining was a part of Iowa amongst the earliest settlers. When 1870 came around, the coal mining industry began to rapidly grow due to the Iowa railroads that reached from the Mississippi River to the Missouri River. These railroads started leasing land near coal producing areas which extended from southeastern Iowa to central Iowa. The most widely distributed of all coal bearing formations was the St. Louis Formation, as Hartman writes on page 11 of his article. He later describes lithostrosion as being one of the most widely distributed fossils in this formation. The railroads operated mines near these areas in order to use the coal for the railroad's use. This would keep production at an incline up until 1920 as it began to fall. This occurred due to railroads buying coal from other states, such as Illinois and Kentucky, which resulted in competition with national markets. The mines in Iowa additionally began to run out of coal, and as a result, they were not able to keep up with the competition in other states. Also, Iowans started relying on other energy sources such as electricity, natural gas, and fuel oil, which decreased the demand for coal in the state of Iowa. Life at coal camps was not very great. Since these camps only lasted about 10 years, minimal care and attention was taken to improve the look and living conditions. Hundreds of low-quality homes were built for coal miners and their families. Although these living conditions were not very great, schools, company stores, taverns, and other facilities were built for the benefit of coal miners and their families. By 1920, most of these camps were closed down due to low production. Families then began to move out, leaving the camps and surrounding areas with minimal to no civilization. This was the end of high production coal mining in Iowa.